this is knee deep um, it's a uh, choice and consequence adventure game uh, similar in concept I'd say to Telltale games but in execution uh, uh, interestingly different I would is what I would uh, say it as so I first played this game at EGX Res uh, last April uh, it's come out of early access it's uh, episodic there are two or five episodes released it has supported Linux from you know basically nearly the beginning um, episode 2 released for Christmas I'm just uh, going to nip into the game options uh, and here you will see the concept behind the game is you are at a movie theatre now I've got everything set at the minute to uh, very high I'll just notch that down a little while I'm recording graphics are not you know the point of the game isn't the graphics obviously although it is uh, you know there's a style but it's not it's not it's not aiming for realism so I'll start a new game and uh, just uh, talk about talk about what I find interesting I, well, I said movie theatre it's uh, like a stage play more than a movie theatre uh, in that you get sit, sets uh, going in and out you'll see what I mean in a minute uh, yeah I'm playing with my steam controller using big picture mode so uh, yeah, that all works fine we'll continue so there you go you see that's the, that's the stage for a night at the, theater. the stage coming into view where you get to practice your choices as far as I'm aware the stage is set. these the these choices written, but your choices shape how other characters react to you uh, these choices make little difference. Oh, Swamp Nine and Three Acts. So it's possible there's only three episodes and not five episodes. I'm mistaken about that. Friends, respect, and the moral high ground. Can't lose the game. The music is uh, it's, it's a very sort of pleasant uh, uh, Americana slash country style. You're the star, playing our three main characters. Blogger Romana T, print reporter Jack Bellin, and detective KC Gaddis. Ladies and gentlemen, the Prologue <coughs> Theatre welcomes you to this production. Please, no videos or flash photography. Enjoy the show. Curtain rises. Here we go. Another beautiful Florida sunset, tainted by a dangling corpse. So it's a uh, murder mystery. The. Uh... It's a bitter conclusion for the downward arc of Tag Kern's sporadically illustrious Hollywood career, found dead by a janitor at Chief Roadside's Wonderland. The game describes itself as Swamp Noir, so it's set in uh, Florida. It's a horrible job on the best of days. Shit, not again. Meanwhile, on I-95, Romana Teague, stuck in traffic, dodging her editor, hunting for a last chance. Not much else to do while the traffic crawls. So... We're so checking our social media. Soon to be so unemployed. There is an achievement for giving a strange response uh, a certain number of times. I've already got that achievement. So uh, this time on this playthrough, I am going to pick Cypress Knee. Cypress Knee's not far. This story could save my ass with Lenny. <laughs> Hello. 
Okay, so we'll get to the. Uh, this is one of the uh, one of the central tenets of the game. So you can choose to be cautious, and that's that's the report you submit. Edgy. Uh, existentialist operation amaze balls. Interesting. Oh. Inflammatory. Just stop at twelve. So this actor has done a series of bad movies. Uh, I and this time I'm going to select edgy and in fact I will for all my reports because of the achievement for that as well and since I'm replaying this game for a video for you lot I might as well pick up some achievements while I'm at it the traffic doesn't seem to be in any hurry to break gridlock uh, let's yell at my get out of my way I expected sooner I didn't think it would take him so long to call now, so one of the things I find a little annoying about this game is that uh, you have to basically double press. Uh, Not now. This, he can go screw himself. This continue button a lot of times, although sometimes you don't. It's a bit weird. I'm not really sure. Not really sure what the significance is. So this time I'm going to double press. I don't know why, but I'm guessing, yeah. It's a minor annoyance, really, as things go along. So now you see the uh, the concept is you're working, you're walking from scene to scene. The set sort of drops into view around you. Better known as Phaedra, top blogger at Fanrage for the past three years, huh. and you're only twenty. And uh, it's actually one of the things I like about it. It's, it's clearly Not bad on the Kardashian fame scale. It's uh, you know it's, it's an indie the game. They've not got a huge budget for uh, massive three D explorable environments. That's what I do. Or dead. So Once this a time, this anyway. sort of um, fixed camera walking from set to set approach. Good gig. It's even less it's, glamorous it's, than it sounds. You know, it saves them work, and it's. It's a style that that's, that works in within the game. We've so we've got some questions. Uh, I quite like Not it. Not a lot of people left to give answers. That's on you. I, I had there help. There we go. Why'd you get sacked? Let's see. Why'd you get sacked? I hacked a competing blog. Made them look bad. They traced it back to me. So that was a critical choice. Your editor must have been furious. It's done. Can't undo it. So, that's what it takes to lose a job you can do in pajamas. Let's start from the top. You were in traffic outside Jacksonville two days ago when you heard the news, right? Yeah, the internet went nuts over another dead actor. Tag Kern killed himself, they said. So, this is the first that of three characters real story. that you'll get to play. I don't know how long this will go on for. So you walk from scene to scene. Spotlight, like we're in the theatre. It's all quite... Uh, it's, it's quite well done, I think. I quite like, I quite like it. We do get some... Uh, <laughs> laggy graphics here and there, especially on these uh, scene changing bits. But yeah, it's... Uh... Yeah. Telling us about stuff. Tag Kern picked the perfect time to die. I'd thank him if I could. Thank him for what, though? A distraction at some dusty old roadside relic? I'm going to go for Irish Travellers. The internet says this place used to be a campsite for a lost clan of Irish travellers back in the 19th century. More going on with Cairn, right. Uh, 
Anony Mouse. Until next time. So clearly. Hi, Lenny. This this game is about the story. Yeah, didn't think that video with two dogs humping in their blog header was funny. Surprised? Can't they take a joke? It might come as a surprise to you, but Fan Rage does have some ethical standards. Yeah, it's all about again. the story. And clearly at this point we've not really had much story happen yet. It is a bit slow starting. Uh Go big or go home, yeah? If you find this at all interesting, I would I would recommend playing it for at least at least half an hour. It, it really it starts picking up about you know, about half an hour, forty minutes in. I'll throw together something quick as I can. Okay. I can investigate the process. The pros test. Let's do that. Don't support the tyranny of institutional racism. Chief Roadsides is a culturally insensitive relic. Let's go for tacky. It's tacky, sure, but it's mostly harmless. How can you say it's harmless? It depicts Native Americans with demeaning stereotypes. If you weave a single tear when you say that, I bet it'd be super effective. Seriously? I'm here about Tag Kern anyway. Oh, right, you're that blogger. Phaedra? I read your stuff. Sad about Kern. I really wanted another operation of maze balls. What's with the fancy motor coach? Those folks are with the Church of Us. You know. The weists. So the Church of Us Kern are a, a, a sinister, sinister force within the game. I, I'll not give it all away. Maybe they can tell me more. But I, I'm guessing they're based on uh, Scientology. Maybe, or maybe they'll try to brainwash you into joining their crazy cult. So we need to make another blog post. I'm not worried about that. Never been much of a joiner. So, when we get to post about nomadic Irish travellers, let's just check the inflammatory one. Have I got it? Oh, that was the inflammatory one. Yeah, mass controls get a bit sensitive. I'm going for edgy again for the achievement. Oh, I'll get an achievement for reporting about Irish Travellers, which, you know, is why I did that. I have been looking at the achievements page on Steam. You were a prismatic, at the very least. Um, let's be Who bothered. asked you? Really, I was talking about your eyes. Slow down, Pops. That's a big 404 interest not found error. I'd be fascinated to see how you fare on the Opto Levels test. And up to who? The test measures your status. So this is where you can see uh, the real the life inspiration for the Church of Us. The highest rank one may attain is Dark Matter. Gotcha. So, will you take the test? It's a one-time offer, I'm afraid. We're going to take the test. Sure. Because guess what? There's achievements for taking the test. I will uh, toddle over here. And here we, there are, you know, there are some puzzles later on that do a Let's similar sort of thing. We, we switch to this uh, this view, and uh, you can't really fail the puzzles. You just keep going until you got some them. Kind of granola? The best number. Thirty-three. Flip it over. Flip the there phone over go. so the screen faces down. Ooh, country, rock, or techno. Nothing rock. Canadian, though. 
favourite childhood memory. Let's go for. Oh dear. Sitting on the balcony, serving tea in china cups. It's all gone horribly wrong. And there you go. I've got an achievement for uh, failing the opto test. Uh, you also get an achievement if you max it out. Um, and it's a. It asks you different questions depending on what you've what you've answered the previous question. So it's not a simple answer all the questions right type of thing. It's an actual path. Uh, I will probably end up playing this game often enough to uh, get all the achievements in this bit, just just because I can. Let's carry on. Switch off the device. He was all wrong. What can I say? Well, at least you tried. That goes a long way with the boss. He'll catch up with you later to talk about Kern. I'm not trying to impress that guy. Later, Phaedra. All Let's right. Carry on. Time to chat with the man who found Kern dangling from that tower. Off we go. So yes, as I said before, it's fairly slow paced, but it's the pace sort of fits in with the style of the game. If you see what I mean? It's uh, similar to the music, quite mellow. Probably uh, wrap the video up at this point then, because you know it could go on for a long time. There's no, there's no real good place to stop. If you, if you're into uh, choice and consequence type adventure games, then uh, I recommend check this out. It's available native for Linux. It's, it's a little bit different to the, the usual sort of fare, and. Uh, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed my uh, first playthrough of the opening two acts, and uh, I'm looking forward to the well, third and apparently final act when it comes out. Uh, check it out on Steam, knee deep.